Yo, what's up guys? My name is Justin. Welcome back to Justin Gamble Gamble. We are in Chicago. I'm with my boy Krish. What's good, baby? And uh, we're making a sports car vlog, but we're in a music studio. This is about a weird one. Good luck. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Belfer. Thank you guys so much for everyone who watches the videos. It really means a lot. If you enjoy them, please drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe. Yesterday, I showed some of the writing music backend stuff that I've been doing in the vlogs. My boy Krish, we're in the studio right now. Currently in the process of cooking something that I think is actually pretty fucking good. Might as well show it in the vlog. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> this shit is low-key insane. Justin just pulled up. He's like, yo, I got I got an idea. <laughs> let, let me executive produce this. Fell into place perfectly. Justin just pulled up. He's like, yo, fuck every beat that you have. <laughs> Let's just find something that works. Justin started writing and then I started adding some stuff on top of it. And then we just gelled. This shit is fucking nuts. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Yeah. Tell me that you want me Tell me that you love me Tell me that you hate me Tell me you don't want me Tell me that you want me Tell me that you love me Tell me that you hate me Tell me that you, you want me Baby girl, don't waste my time You don't have to be alone tonight Just think I'm biased because like we just wrote this. Or is this song like actually really fucking good? Chris's vocals on this sound crazy. Crazy. Hey. Can you imagine the song that puts you to the strat? Is a song we made on a sports car channel. <laughs> 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 that be crazy. Please let us know what you genuinely think of this song in the comments. It's like Timbaland right here. You feel me? So like. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, the only sports card vlogger that's going to. We're going to go platinum on one of these. It's going to happen. Is it this one or is this shit? Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I get bags, never let a bitch touch them. Vito got a strap and it came right out of Russia. We gon' hit a lick, what's your name? Wouldn't you? Got myself a beer and we're watching the sunset. Hello, Wisk. How have you been, girl? Haven't had enough whiskey content in the videos recently because we've been so busy at the National. So, at the park with the dog. Hello. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I never thought this sentence would come out of my mouth. My business partner is an 11 year old kid named Dylan from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is my life come to? <laughs> Dylan hit me with a business proposal. He's like, you know I'm good at buying sports cards for good prices. What if I bought for you at like 70 to 80% of comps, I use your money, but then when we sell it, you give me some of the profit. I'm like, absolutely done deal. I trust this kid more than I trust a lot of people. He'll go out and negotiate on Instagram, on Discord, or wherever the fuck he wants to go. Closes a deal, but needs to send the money. So he'll just send me the person's email and the amount of money I owe. And I'll just shoot it right over immediately for him. We have a spreadsheet where we log all of the buys and we have columns. This is what I bought it for and this is what it's comping at. I'm curious how much money we've made. <laughs> Let's find out right now. So far, he's bought me 17 cards. He has spent for the past two days $4,282 with my PayPal account. Would you trust an 11 year old kid to spend 4.2K? <laughs> what am I doing? He's picked up a Desmond Ritter Peacock PSA 10, an Aiden Hutchinson Red Rookie Auto, Kurt Warner downtown, Eli Manning downtown, Baker Mayfield downtown, Joel Embiid downtown, Kenny Pickett rookie auto score, Benedict Matherin rookie auto, Matthew Stafford downtown, Desmond Ritter RPA, Jalen Hurts rookie auto from Origins, Kenny Pickett rookie auto, Jabari Smith Color Blast, Earl Campbell downtown, a Devonta Smith rookie downtown PSA 10, a Justin Fields rookie tie-dye PSA 10, and a Troy Palomalu downtown. Kid is cooking. This all comes out at 5710. 5710 minus 4282 is 1428. The reason why this partnership works out so well is because Dylan is really good at buying the liquid cards. A lot of people don't like to sell their liquid cards at any level of a percentage. And I am very good at selling cards at a very high percentage because I've developed relationships with a bunch 
bunch of buyers. I sell all of my cards of this caliber at at least 90 to 95%. If I have a 1428 here times 0.91, that means we just made $1,300 in fucking two days and I gave him 20%. So 20% of 1,300 is 260 bucks. Two days work for an 11 year old kid. Pretty dope. Cheers to that. Appreciate you, Dylan. And if you guys think you can scam this kid, it's actually impossible. This kid is sharper than 99% of the people in the hobby. I didn't decide to work with this kid just for no fucking reason. This kid is sharp. Imagine what he's gonna be like when he's like 21. He's gonna fucking fry you guys. <laughs> he already does. have a really chill night at home and chill with the dog but uh but chris hit me up and he wants to go out so keep the mom <laughs> <laughs> Right here, firing on hose. I I was just sitting in the corner of the club, like kind of like a bum ass, just making deals in Discord, buying sports cards. I picked up a James Cook number to four optic, comped at 400 and 350. I said comped in the middle at 375, picked up for 290. Probably gonna flip it for like four. Y'all put way too much for trying to get hose. <laughs> Damn, y'all should be disappointed in yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there were game. just dudes. Justin Gamble Gamble. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Chris, bro. Ain't no way you make that R&B music just to be like this right now, bro. Bro, sometimes that's just how the dice roll. I'm in the studio right now. I'm so down, bro. All right. I'm going to write Chris a song about being shoddy list. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I hooked him up with this Indian girl, and, he, and she, like, you know, they were macking it, and then, like, eventually she goes, I hate him. <laughs> what? What did you do? You're just not bad, bro. So like, <laughs> what did you say? Uh, you must have said some dumb ass shit. Probably. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you guys have friends like sports cards, please share them. Justin Gamble Gamble. But until then, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>